Hi, I'm Ben and I'm the CTO here at BIM Object. And today I'd like to show the first part of a two-part Revit tutorial series. So in this uh, film we assume that you have a good working knowledge of Revit and even our app, the BIM Object app, which I'll show just in a moment. Um, so what I've done here, I've bought in these like our block walls. So as you can see here we've built them as system components and we have even built a series of families as well. So you can see here we have the 75 thickness, the 95 and 125 millimeter block walls and we have the uh, the corresponding materials attached to them as well of course. So I'll just go ahead here and draw these walls out very quickly and then we can hop over to the 3D window and have a quick look at them. And again, these are system components that can be downloaded from the BIM object portal. If we just quickly have a look at those in the 3D windows, and we can see here the different wall thicknesses, and again they have the corresponding materials. We can just quickly go, have, go and have a look at the settings here. So as you can see here we have the structure settings with all of the correct materials and if we just have a quick look at the uh, the physical settings all of the basic information of course the thermal information as well for energy calculations and this is all according to the Weber uh, Lecker block settings of course so that was the first part of this quick Revit demonstration so what I'd now like to show is the families that we've created. We have also created a series of families um, as I mentioned just a moment ago and I'll be showing those or downloading those through the BIM Object app and the BIM Object app is available from the Autodesk Exchange Store, the Revit and even AutoCAD Exchange Store and it's free for download for everyone. So if we go ahead and browse the objects here, so now everything I'm doing uh, once I click on the BIM Object button or the Browse Objects button is done from within the context of Revit. So as you can see here we have the different systems, we have the rendering system and we have the layer blocks as well. So if we go into the uh, the 75 block here for example and go to the downloads tab and as you can see here we have the Revit downloads and we have some other file formats as well. So if I go ahead and click on the download, so basically what we're doing is that we're downloading and loading this family for instant placement and you can see here now that we have actually loaded this particular family which is a, a block family and as you can see here now we have placed that out and we can also see some adjustment handles here so this means that we have dynamics so we can dynamically adjust these particular families uh, and again I'll be going into into a lot more detail on exactly how these families work um, and how we can insert the um, the materials and the existing walls, or the sorry, the the layer walls into existing projects, and even start up with new projects as a template. Um, we do also have some individual components that can be downloaded from the portal as well, as the, as can be seen here. So again, if I just simply click on the download button here, um, we have now actually inserted that into our project. So if we go to the components. and we see that we have actually brought in the, the Lerka beam here if we change that to say 1500 and place that out so we have the individual components as well as the system families the system wall families the materials etc and all of it of course is accessible through the BIM object app so again that's free of charge for all Revit and even AutoCAD users and can be found on the Exchange Store, the App Exchange Store. So that's what I'd like to show for today. Thank you for your time and again um, don't forget I'll be doing another in-depth tutorial to show exactly how they work in more detail. Thank you and we'll see you next time.